Hello, we're here with uh, Sarah Riley, who I think at this stage is the only confirmed councillor for next year, for the upcoming county council. Uh, I mean, you salvaged the polls in, in Billy Bird, it must be delighted. I'm absolutely delighted, and more than that, not expecting it at all. Um, when we talked about it before the election, we were talking about the Mary's fighting for the last seat with maybe three other people. So I'm actually in shock at the minute. I wasn't expecting this at all. Yeah. Tell me, um, just walk me, guide me through it. What do, what do you think was the big deciding factor in this? Why do, why do you think people turn out in such force? Look, at, part of it is down to you and the work you've done um, since, since you got, came on to the council in 2016. Let's like, face it, a lot, part of it is down to that. But really, I mean, Inter have got a huge groundswell here. Johnny McPhillips got a huge, uh, huge support as well. Yeah, I think um, the whole life uh, people have felt that they have no voice uh, I think they have been the whole life to be fine there. I think they have been the whole life to be fine there. I think there's also a, an underlying anger, I found at the doorstep, an underlying um, disquiet and uh, dissatisfaction with the government of the minute and with Finn Fogg's inability to be fully into account. I know we talked about it ourselves. You you have definitely thrown off the shackles since you've been involved in the in the chambers. You're more open to criticising them and some of their policies, and especially I suppose uh, their consistent backing for certain policies. Yeah, I think um, I think they are are left. Um, there's a breakdown in with grassroots, definitely. There is a breakdown down the grassroots. We haven't connected with grassroots. The grassroots are the people who do the work on the ground, and they've been completely disrespected on their views. They are the people that sell the tickets, the canvas, the posters, and they are they are they are what a party needs. And if you are, you know, you can negotiate on some things. You know that everybody's not agreeing on things, but on on a few different issues, uh, I think the grassroots have been left out very very badly and ignored. You are co-opted, so to be elected on your own steam, you must be very very proud. Of Effectively, um, you're waiting yeah. for it now. You're waiting for it. I didn't do it on my own. I had um, I had a great team around me, I, and they believed in me sometimes more than I believed in myself. And I think it, they pushed me on. I actually did think about leaving politics, and um, I a uh, neighbour of the road wrote to me and said to let the people decide, and not anybody else. So this is this is the message to all those people. This is, it, well, like I am in shock. I, You're getting quite I, emotional now. Yeah, well, I did, totally did not expect this. I really thought I would be fighting for a, a, a last seat. And I suppose it's very emotional to be, um, well, validated. I feel validated. Um, and I do think, like, um, spoken people on the capabilities, I do think I'm capable and the able person. And, um, that people actually left their grassroots parties to vote for me. Um, and I think mainly on, 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 on capabilities and abilities is, is a great validation. Oh, one, one last question. General election, any chance? Oh, okay. I'm going to let this sink in. I'm going to let this sink in. And then I'll have a vote for it. Brilliant. Thanks so much, Sarah.